Hey everyone, Ray Sawbill, RaySawbill.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through Google Merchant Center and supplemental feeds specifically. So if that's the kind of video you're looking for and why they're important, make sure to stick around. Now this video is going to assume that you already have a Merchant Center set up, your feed is good to go, and you're just going to be creating a supplemental feed. So if you head over to Merchant Center and sign into your account, um, you're going to notice that my account right now is just a dummy feed. There's nothing important in here, but that's okay for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to show you how to set up that supplemental feed. Now, one of the most important things you're going to want to know right away exactly what are the benefits of a supplemental feed. And the biggest thing is that it allows you to make additions or changes to your main priority feed without having to re-export it, re-upload it, fetch it again. It just allows you to a lot more flexibility and it's very very easy to set up so if you go to merchant center go to the products tab and go to your feed you're going to notice that your top feed here this is going to meet be your main priority feed and then in the bottom down here is going to be your supplemental feed so again if you click on the supplemental feed you'll just be able to update this on the fly i highly recommend the google sheets route because then it's just going to be an excel type file that you can upload as you would like and change as you would like to update your feed pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm going to call this um, inventory levels because um, that, that, that may be one thing I may want to do, or maybe I want to do specific brands or other custom labels. The purpose I'm going to use for this video is I'm going to add a custom label to everything. So I'll just call this um, brand Ray um, and it'll be a Google Sheets file. So if I make it a Google Sheets file, it's going to take me through this prompt right here where I go through my Google account and it's going to want me to like link up, go through all the authentication, and then it's going to ask me to select an existing sheet or create a new sheet from scratch. So I'm gonna use a sheet from a template, which is, is fine. And my main feed is this test feed right here. So my supplemental feed is going to be reviewing the data from this feed right here. So if you click create the feed and then allow, it's just going to um, get your pop-up blocks here by the browser. You want to make sure you don't make that happen. But you can just kind of go through the process again and it'll show up. So once this finishes loading, Google Sheets should pop up and then you can start changing your feed. Um, so you can see here I have my supplemental feed and then my input method here. I can open Google Sheets. Now, while this is happening, um, I'm going to do one thing quick here, um, and I'll have a link down below, but essentially the different priorities that we're going to want to look at and the different fields specifically we're going to want to look at is all this product data specification, because this is how we're going to give Google Sheets all of the data and the column that, that we need in order to change our feed. So. For this supplemental feed here, I'm going to want to reference the ID column. So essentially what I'm going to tell Google is anytime you see this ID, either change it or add this additional data. So I'm going to say ID and then here's where you just kind of spit in your product data. So I'm just going to add in like random product data here. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. But in an ideal world, you're gonna to wanna to like export the information from your feed here and grab all of your product IDs and then you can change things around. So typically what this process will look like is you'll wanna export all of your products from Merchant Center, then take your IDs, throw it into the supplemental feed, say, Google, all of these IDs, change it to this custom label. So. What, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do two things. I'm going to do the availability column and I'm going to say that they're in stock because let's say my feed didn't have that for some reason. Maybe they were marked out of stock and I just got them in again. Not the greatest example, but the biggest thing here is that you're able to change stuff on the fly. And then I am going to grab custom label. From here, and custom label, you can do zero through four, and it's really important that you grab the exact um, type here. You need to make sure you grab the exact uh, naming convention. So I have custom label zero, and I'll just call this, um, this is brand Ray, this is brand Roxo, and then you can just kind of like call it whatever you would like. So it, like I could be like, this is all the Ray brand, this is all the Roxo brand, um, this is all the Costco brand. So like 
now what I'm essentially doing is I'm going through my entire SKU list, through my entire inventory list. I'm saying this item ID is now in stock and append this custom label here. So in my original feed, I may not have had custom label zero. Now it's in here and now I can start segmenting campaigns by custom label zero. So the main benefit here, guys, is if you don't have data in a great way and you don't want to export your feed every single day and keep it up to date, you can, which you want to do obviously, but you can have a supplemental feed and just do this one time, have it set up, and then you're good to go. So that that's one of the huge benefits of this. Um, and the other beautiful thing is because it's a Google Sheet, you can just update the data here, fetch it inside Merchant Center, and then you're good to go. So now that I have this feed updated and done, I can literally just go into fetch now. So let me take you back to where I was here. I'm, I'm in products, feeds, brand raid, the name of my supplemental feed, and now I can fetch this data. And now once I fetch this data, Google will go out, grab it, and then it'll be pushed out to my existing feed ready to use within 10 minutes to a couple of hours. It'll be pretty quick. So um, that's about all you have to know. Again, the major use cases here is if you're taking a ton of data and you want to like segment your campaigns in a specific way, and it's not already available in your feed. You want to do custom labels zero through four. You want to do availability. You can change literally any product data specification here. So you can add anything to the feed or change it. So really powerful tool here. Highly recommend you use it. Um, if you're looking for more on the, on the shopping side, leave a comment down below. And that's it on the shopping side for supplemental feeds. So if you have any questions, like I said, let me know down below. Also, if you're looking for more digital marketing related content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Only about two to 3% of the people that, that watch my videos are subscribed, which is just crazy because I'm getting so many views, which I'm really thankful for. So if you want more digital marketing related content, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. Until next time, thanks everybody. Bye.